Hi, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Adelaide, I'm a dietitian, and I'm excited to share a green smoothie with you guys today. Here is the fruits and vegetables that are going in. We've got celery, half a banana, half a cucumber, a peeled lime, um, that white stuff there in the middle is fennel, some spinach, and some parsley. Already in my blender, I have some ice. I think, especially for green smoothies, you want them to be chilled down. Uh, so for the celery's going in. Everything that you saw there is going in. Um, fennel, if you haven't tried it, it's got a really sweet, nice flavor. And it just um, also has a lot of fiber, so it doesn't really overwhelm anything. Like you might think it would, since it's such an unusual vegetable. Okay, once all that's in, we're gonna add some other stuff. First is coconut milk. It's got a good amount of fat in it. So what the fat is going to do is help us access the fat-soluble vitamins that are in all that green stuff we just put in here. Otherwise, we would just, you know, not really be able to digest those things like vitamin D, vitamin K, E, and A. This is egg white. Um, it's pasteurized, it doesn't really have that much taste, and it actually gives um, sort of like a silkiness to a smoothie. If you've ever had like a bar drink that has egg whites in it, and they shake it up a lot and it gets really frothy, that's what it does to the smoothie as well. Also adding some pumpkin seeds. I don't always add superfoods, they're not really required. I find spirulina goes really well with green smoothies, but I will warn you, um, it smells like fish food and it tastes like it too. So it'll say like one teaspoon for a serving, but I do one even though I'm gonna be sharing this with my husband. So yeah, it's a real strong taste. And then to help counteract that taste and then all the other vegetables that we've got going on in here, I'm adding some stevia. Just a few drops of liquid stevia. You can see our smoothie here. It's all like ready to go almost. So when you're adding your water, Try to add it just kind of like semi up the line of where all the solid stuff is. So like my bigger solid vegetables are down here in the bottom. We'll see if this is enough water. If you've got a blender that isn't as strong as like a Vitamix or a Ninja juicer, then you're gonna wanna chop everything down really small before you put it in there. Okay, here we go. for 45 seconds. Um, you want to crank your blender all the way up to its highest power. That's actually easier on the motor than trying to let it just kind of go at mid-range speed. And also since you're breaking down all those vegetable fibers, you really got to work. Okay, looking good. So you can see it's a really dark green. The um, spirulina actually takes a minute to diffuse throughout the solution. So it can, you see the little specks of dark green in there. Um, whew, smells like a lot of vegetables, um, but the lime really makes a big difference as far as helping it not taste too incredibly minerally, mineral-esque. So let's give it a try. This one's really good. Definitely recommend it. Give it a try at home. And um, remember, everything's kind of optional. Like, just add what you've got. You don't have to go out to the store and get a bunch of ingredients to make a good smoothie. Yeah.